Today's show is about comfort. That's right. Today's show is about self-love, warm and fuzzy things that make you feel good. Because don't we all need a little warm and fuzzy right now? I was just saying to myself the other day, I can't take it anymore. It's just like too weird out there. We've been in masks for masks. We've been in masks for how many months now? And it's just like, it's getting a little cray cray. And none of us know what's going to happen. Oh my God. So I said to myself, I need a little comfort. That's right, I do inning. And what would your comfort level be without your favorite teddy bear? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't we all have teddy bears when we were younger? Some of us still have teddy bears now. But how good do those teddy bears make us feel, right? When you rub your face against the teddy bear or you hug the teddy bear, it really makes you feel good. And you don't think about the problems in the world. And that's what I'm doing these days. I'm playing with my teddy bears. And not only my teddy bear, I have a wonderful lavender water bottle that if I heat this up in the microwave and I just put it next to me on the pillow, mm, I can smell lavender. I can imagine that I'm in fields of lavender, running through fields of lavender. Everything is beautiful and lavenderish and purple. That's right. And I can well, I can't really smell it, ladies and gentlemen, because if you all recall, I lost my smell and taste because of COVID. I did. And it's still only back about 70%, so there's lots of things I can't smell or taste. And you're probably saying to yourself, so how the heck does she do a cooking show? Well, I'm instinctive. That's right, I am incredibly instinctive, and I just know how much to do. So I know and with my Annie's mac and cheese that I just drained from the colander, of course, I would like to have some vegetables. So we're going to do peas and carrots in there and mix that all up together because peas, carrots, and pasta all get along. They are just the kind of food groups who kind of like each other. And not only that, I have to show you this because this is one of my favorite things. Look how colorful they are. It's fall. We want color in the fall. Because that comforts us too. All right, are you ready for the big crescendo? Da, 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 da. The meatloaf. And I'm all about authenticity. So I have a thermometer in it to show you that it got up to slightly less than 180. You want your meatloaf to be between 165 and 175. Mine went to 180. I don't think that's going to hurt it in any way, shape, or form. But I just wanted to show you. I, you know what? I am so proud of myself. Look at that. Look at that Bill's meatloaf, or what I call... No, Bill's not the meatloaf. I'm the meatloaf. Mom's meatloaf surprise. That's right. And we have with that... The Annie Shells mac and cheese with carrots and peas. This is a good hearty dinner. Warm the cockles of your heart. Whoa. And last, but not least, I was dropped it all on the floor there, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, got a little dangerous there, didn't it? Last but not least, this amazing Bill's pumpkin cream pie. Is that not the least the reason sons take a look at that? Thank you all for joining me here today. I hope that you're all comforted. I always feel a lot better after after I cook some of this stuff. Um, that bird is really hitting on my nerves. Ladies and gentlemen, I had such a great time here today on Pandemic Cooking with Wendy. We made all this great comfort food, and it comforts me to know that you're comforted too. We'll be back next week with big recipes, so stay tuned and have a great week, and don't let the world get to you. It's not worth it because each and every one of us can control our own little environment that we live in. So don't forget that, okay? That is the one thing you can control no matter how badly amok it gets out there. Take care.